for the cheapest coins, FIFA points and accounts on FIFA Mobile and FIFA 17. Go to ufifa.com, use the code TVM at checkout for a huge discount. Link in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome to another weekend of Team of the Week predictions. It's not as good as last week's. That is one thing that's for sure. But with Team of the Year out, how many people are really going to be focusing on Team of the Week? Having said that, we do have a couple of gems in here. So let's get straight into it with Gazaniga. He got six saves in Valacano's 0-0 draw with Cordoba. Adrian Aldrete, one goal and a clean sheet in Cruz Azul's 1-0 win over Nicaxa. That is a mouthful. Pulido got a goal and an assist, and he also picked up man of the match in Guadalajara's 2-1 win. A player that I'm personally looking forward to reviewing, and that is Lozano, a hat-trick and man of the match in his side's 4-2 win. Barisha of Melbourne victory would be getting a second in form should he get it with a goal and an assist in a 2-0 win over Adelaide. Probably the most exciting in form for me personally because I love this guy. It would be a position change from a left wing to a striker. Although I hope EA ignore it completely and keep it as a left wing because he has no strength or physical presence whatsoever. So he'd be better as a left wing. But he got himself two goals and a man of the match in Atalanta's 4-1 win. And that is Alejandro Gomez. Bit of an outside shot here, but uh, Jonas got himself one goal and an assist. He also picked up Man of the Match in Benfica's 2-0 win. They now move six points clear of uh, Porto in the Portuguese League, so maybe enough to warrant an inform, but he does have that SBC card, of course. A few bronze players to talk about. Then we have Ellis Harrison. He got four goals and one assist in Bristol Rovers 5-0 win over Northampton. Gordon got a hat-trick and a Man of the Match in Stevenage's 3-1 win over Newport County, who look to be struggling big time. And we have Guthrie, who got a hat-trick, and he also picked up Man of the Match in Colchester United's 4-1 win over Carlisle. A very nice-looking card here. Ben Yedda got himself a hat-trick and one assist in Sevilla's 4-0 win over Sociedad. Moving in to the starting 11 and kicking things off with, unfortunately, a silver goalkeeper. Can't really see any gold goalkeepers getting it this week, unfortunately. Defendi made seven saves. He therefore picked up man of the match and kept a clean sheet uh, in Pacos Ferreira's 0-0 draw with Porto. Fontas of Celta Vigo got himself a goal in a 3-1 win. He was so close to getting the clean sheet as well. But the midfielder, Vass, uh, scored an own goal. Not really Fontas's fault. Still can see him getting an inform. Former Empoli man Tonelli scored the winning goal in Napoli's 2-1 win over Sampdoria. I'm going to struggle to say this guy's name. It's either Franjic or Franjic. I'm not quite sure which one it is. But he scored the winning goal in Melbourne City's 1-0 win over Western Sydney Wanderers. Probably a derby, no, in Australia. Bit of a curveball in here. Ryan Shawcross, who got the one goal, he also picked up man of the match in a 2-0 win over Watford. Of course, that was on Tuesday. So whether EA will go back that far and have a look. I've got a funny feeling, though, at the severe lack of Premier League players in this week's Team of the Week due to the FA Cup. I can see them throwing a couple of these in there. Shawcross for me over Charlie Adam, who got two assists. Jimenez, normally a centre-back, played at CDM for the majority of the game. I really hope that EA go against this as well and put him back into that centre-back position because this would be a dreadful CDM card with passing and dribbling as bad as that. He uh, picked up a clean sheet, also uh, got man of the match in Atletico's 2-0 win over Abar. Yet another position change. Isco got two goals and he also picked up man of the match in Real Madrid's 5-0 demolition job of Granada. The only problem with this being, of course, it would be a right mid, and he doesn't really have the pace to play there, so I kind of hope that they put him as a centre mid or a cam as well. Perisic of Inter got himself two goals from the left mid or left wing position. He also picked up man of the match in their 2-1 win. Another curveball here, but uh, Christian Eriksen could be on course for a third in form. He got two assists. He also picked up man of the match in Tottenham's 2-0 win against Chelsea. Of course, Chelsea were on course to win that uh, consecutive victories record. It is a big game. It was a massive derby, and obviously Eriksen involved in both goals. So how can they not give him an inform? Gonzalo Higuain got himself two goals against Bologna. Also picked up man of the match in that game as well. Uh, obviously a one to watch card. It wa I was going to go for Sansone uh, for Villarreal. But Barcelona equalised against those in the 90th minute. So I don't think he's going to get it. I think they will give it to Higuain being one of the high rated players. And of course a one to watch card as well. And to complete things in the starting 11. We have Karim Benzema. One goal and one assist in Real Madrid's 5-0 win over Granada. We've already got Isco in there from that game as well, but as EA 
have uh, clearly demonstrated last week that they don't mind now putting uh, two players from the same team or indeed three players from the same team into a team of the week should there be a severe lack of players. With that being said, I do have one more player to mention, and that is, of course, Olivier Giroud. He got two assists and a goal, and he also picked up man of the match in that game where they managed to secure a draw against Bournemouth, who were 3-0 up, uh, bearing in mind that Olivier Giroud was involved in all three goals, scoring the last in the 90th minute. Of course, Giroud's been on the cusp of an inform for a couple of weeks now, so why not throw him in there? when it's not really that significant. People are going to be going for Team of the Year. A nice 85-rated card for Giroud. I think it's deserved after the good performances consistently across the last few weeks. And that is going to do it for this week's Team of the Week predictions. If I've missed anyone, do me a huge, huge favour and let me know in the comment section down below. I'm sure you will, but just a little reminder. And if you want a different perspective on this week's Team of the Week predictions, you can go over to MPHD. The link will be at the end of the video or in the video description. Go over there and tell him that I sent you. It would mean a lot to me and, of course, to him as well. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have done so. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, goodbye.